Yes, Silvina, we can hear you. So again, okay. you, I'm sorry, excuse me. Thank you, Original Affiliates, um, for joining us again on this Temptation Caribbean Cruise um, 2022 webinar. I am Bertine Cortez, the Original Affiliates Manager, joining us and the host of this webinar or the presenter will be Silvina Modolo, our Cruise Sales Manager. And also joining us is Monse Atilano, who is our Affiliates Executive. Monse and I will be replying to all of your questions as Silvina moves along with the presentation. So don't be shy. Feel free to ask as many questions as you like. And again, thank you for joining us. Now I will let Silvina um, take over the mic and we'll go ahead and get started with this um, sexy presentation. Oh, no pressure there. Sexy presentation. All righty. Well, I'm going to try and make it as sexy as possible. Good thing my camera's not on. Uh, but like Bertine said, welcome everybody. Uh, those of you who are joining us today, we appreciate you taking the time out of your busy schedules. Um, you know, life is, is starting to move move on um, slowly but surely um, with, with this wonderful um, pandemic that I know a lot of people are still, um, you know, very, very involved and very um, affected by this. So we appreciate you taking the time to join us. And uh, we hope that by the end of this um, presentation, for the Temptation Caribbean Cruise, you will have a better understanding of what our cruise is about, what we offer, what you can offer your clients, and um, hopefully we'll have a little bit of fun on the way as well. So I'm going to go ahead and start. And um, yeah, like Bertine said, please ask all the questions. All of the questions you want to ask, ask them. Write them down. There's no uh, there's there's no risk a question. Feel free to shoot and ask. And um, Bertine and Monse will, will do their best to answer all of your questions as quickly as possible. And then we can also, at the end, if there's anything lingering that wasn't asked and want to be asked, we can look at that. All righty. So for those of us who are 100% familiar about our temptation concept, we'll just touch on that just a little bit. So what is it that temptation offers? Temptation offers a unique experience for adults only. We're talking about adults 21 and up. And we're talking about couples, groups of friends that travel together, singles, any adult, uh, open-minded, looking to have a really good time in an adult-only atmosphere with adult-only events, performances, shows, et cetera, et cetera. So that's really what Temptation is about. It's a place where we want people to come and enjoy, be themselves, and um, meet other, other amazing people um, at our resorts and, of course, on our cruise. Um, it's definitely something that's different. As Bertine mentioned, sexy. We're definitely a sexy concept. Um, our performances, our shows, our DJs, everything that we provide um, at our properties and on our ships, um, make sure that we offer a um, you know first class, top of the line um, experience for our guests. Something unique that they will not experience um, in any other place. A little bit of demographics. We get asked these questions a lot. Um, so this is something good for you guys to know. Now, keep in mind, this is just um, this is just age ranges. Um, somewhere along here, it says, you know, non-limited. And that's very, very true. Um, our concept also ages a number. Some people have larger numbers and some people have smaller numbers. Um, at the end of the day, we welcome anybody and everybody who will respect the other people that is around them on, on vacation. So. Um, our demographic ranges, our average age and target market is 30 to 45. Um, we also, like we, I mentioned earlier, it's 21 plus, and we do offer topless optional. So on board on the cruise ship, we do offer topless optional areas. We are a full ship charter. Um, and so with that being said, we have control over the areas that we can offer um, the topless optional, and that obviously has to go in line with the cruise line. So we do have topless optional areas, which include the pool area. It includes the sun deck areas. And then, of course, during sea nights, which we'll get into that a little further down, um, this also may apply depending on the theme night um, that evening. A little bit of uh, interesting data. Uh, you know, our clients, uh, those that enjoy nightlife, music, um, you know, we are very uh, social media uh, inclined. So those that are very um, connected to social media, um, definitely outgoing. It's it's definitely a place where 
if you have clients that maybe are a little bit nervous because of the concept, it's their first time vacationing in an adult only um, concept uh, that has such a um, sexy undertone to it, then um, definitely it's something that I think everybody should try at least once in their life. Um, and if you are or you have clients that are maybe a little worried, a little skeptical, or maybe a little bit introverted, this might be a good option for them to come see and see how they feel. And slowly as the as the days goes on on the cruise, um, I, I will I am 99.999% sure that those introverts um, will definitely not be introverts anymore. That that is what I I predict for those clients that you have that are like, mm, I don't know if this is for me. Um, definitely uh, people that are looking for, you know, uh, better class in terms of service, food, drinks. That's something that, that we offer as well um, with the temptation concept. Um, those those clients that like to, you know, kind of be in control. Uh, clients that are participative. We have a lot of a, a lot of our concept. Um, we have a lot of different events and, and themes and our guests really tend to enjoy that because it gives them one week out of their year other than Halloween where they can um, just be that sexy nurse or that sexy Hawaiian, whatever it is that we have the theme, it gives them an opportunity to kind of break free um, and try something different. So um, that that's what you're gonna be uh, getting and expecting for temptation. The picture that we're looking at right now is one that we, we love to show off because we sailed our first Temptation Caribbean cruise last year, February 2020. It was a wonderful, amazing success. It also was literally, uh, you know, a couple weeks before um, the world shut down uh, due to COVID. So it was a really great last experience of that year um, for us. And this picture really depicts what we like to offer on our cruise. Uh, fun. We can see people in the center of the picture that are having fun, that are engaged, that are involved. Um, we also have it blurred, um, so you don't see certain areas of, of the women that are topless and, and the men, of course. Um, and then you also see people that are on the sidelines, on their um, beach chairs, that are up on the top deck, just watching and enjoying. Like for them, watching and other people participate or dance or participate in the contests and games is fun for them. So basically. Whatever you want to make of your vacation is what we're going to allow you to do. OK, so this is a really good picture of one of our pool parties. So we have uh, pool parties on board and we'll take a look at that when we look at the itinerary. Um, and our uh, pool parties are also themed itineraries. Um, so this is a really good picture of what um, guests can can expect for our next Temptation Cruise, which sails um, next year, February 14th to the 19th. Again, we do apologize for the sound or the lack of sound better said on the video. The idea of it is for you to get an eye uh, or to be able to picture what really goes on um, on the cruise and what our guests have forward uh, or have to look forward to um, as well as the destinations that um, we will be setting sail through. So again, all of um, these videos, they're available in our media site. Be sure to visit um, our media page, which I've also posted um, in the chat. And then you'll be able um, to get the full sound uh, of the video. Alrighty. Well, I apologize. I was I was listening to the music and I was tapping my foot and I was dancing and um, Bertine let me know that sadly you guys weren't listening to what I was listening. So I apologize uh, for 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 the technical difficulties. Um, but uh, yes, as Bertine says, you can find it uh, on our website as well, on our media site as well, and you can hear the fun music there. So what do we offer? What does our cruise offer? We do have some cruise only features that um, we like to showcase when people see 
um, the rates of our crews, you will tend to see the rates that are a little bit um, higher than what you would see on a regular or traditional sailing. I'm not one number one, not a charter sailing, and number two, a non-conceptual charter or non-conceptual cruise which we are a conceptual cruise. We're an adult only cruise under the Temptation brand. And we bring in our own entertainment. We bring in our own shows, our own performances. We bring in our own entertainment staff. Um, so with all that being said, um, it's, it's guests are getting to experience not only the Temptation brand, but uh, a, a unique um, events and events on board. Okay, so that obviously translates into the pricing of the cruise. Also, what's included when a client is purchasing the cabin? One of the main highlights is the premium beverage package. That's included when the client purchases the cabin. And we're going to take a look a little further down at um, our rates and how you can see the rates and find them on our website. So the main thing that we want to make sure that you guys know when you're promoting and selling the cruises is that when the client's paying um, for their cabin, their premium beverage package is already included. Now, this is a savings of anywhere between six and $700 sometimes even more to the client, because at the end of the day, we know that when you, you know, uh, hop on a cruise, um, for the majority, uh, for the most part of it, the beverage packages are not included. You have your basic water, juice, and, and, and pops, um, you know, at, at your main buffet restaurant, but everywhere else, you're either paying individually or you have to purchase your package when you're on board. So that's definitely um, a, a highlight when the Temptation Cruise is being promoted. Another uh, in, another highlight is, um, you know, room service is also included, and that's for all cabin categories, starting from the interior staterooms all the way up to um, our, our penthouse suites. Um, we have, uh, there's four dining venues that are included also on board. We'll look at that a little bit more detailed further below. Um, our R-rated red room, this, this is a definitely cruise only feature for Temptation Cruise, as this is not something that you will see at the resorts in Temptation. For those of you who are familiar with our property in Cancun, this is definitely a cruise only feature. For some of you also might be asking, what's the red room? So that we can explain it to our clients and for those of us that aren't familiar, the red room is an intimate space where couples can enjoy the freedom to engage intimately with their significant others. Now, this is a closed off area on the ship um, that we set up um, and it cannot be seen by any passerbyers, anybody that's just walking by, they're not gonna be able to see what's happening in um, our R-rated red room unless they actually enter the area. Now, we have highly trained security and staff monitoring the entrance and the inside of this area to make sure that um, all the guidelines are being followed and that everybody that's um, enjoying the R-rated red room um, is making sure that uh, everybody that's in there is respecting um, all other uh, couples that are, that are in the red room. So the privacy and safety of our guests is of course our top priority. So this is definitely a room where I recommend that um, for those first timers, I recommend that um, every day before we open, we give a little bit of a tour um, for those people that wanna go in and see what is this red room about, just so that it can take a little bit of the fear or the anxiety away. Um, some people compare it to, if we're familiar with the movies of, you know, uh, Christian Grey and his and his wonderful room of, of toys and things. Um, some people try and compare it to that. We don't include any toys, <laughs> okay? Um, but it's basically a very intimate space with beds and veils um, where couples can, can enjoy and fulfill fantasies. Um, so I definitely recommend that everybody at least pop in and take a look um, at what's happening in there before we actually open it up to, um, to, to use, okay? Um, spicy workshops, that's also something that's also um, amazing on our cruises. And it's also included for all of our guests. So we offer workshops and seminars where couples and singles can go in and participate. Um, we hire um, highly trained sex experts, as we call them, uh, who um, talk about a variety of different things from relationship tips, um, from techniques. Um, it can get as intimate as hands-on workshops on massage techniques on how to please your partner. Um, and, and as something as simple as how to communicate effectively with your partner. So 
Um, we offer a wide variety of workshops and seminars, and I also highly recommend that you let your clients know that these are included and they can participate in them. So it's definitely something that I recommend for, for our guests on board. Of course, we talked about our theme nights and our pool parties. We have those in the daytime as well as in the evening. Those are definitely not to be missed, as we saw in the picture. Um, the ship that we use is Celebrity Summit for our February 2022 cruise. So if we're familiar with that, we know that there are two pools. We have the outdoor main pool, and that's considered our sexy pool, where you saw the picture. Entertainment, games, contests, music, DJs, all that you're going to find there. And then we have out the solarium, which is our quiet pool. That's the pool where we have no music. It's just kind of like background elevator music where guests can relax, um, you know, go in there and recover from the hangover from the night before. Um, they can kind of go in there if they want to chit chat with some other people. Um, then that's a good opportunity and place for, for guests to do that. So we do have two pools. And of course, out by the uh, main pool, there's four jacuzzis uh, that are also open during our, our uh, charter. Our sailing, as I mentioned, is February 14th and 19th. It leaves out of Miami, uh, Florida. We're going to take a look at our amazing itinerary for next February. So we leave on Monday, the 14th, February from Miami, Florida. We will um, sail away in the afternoon between 4 and 6 p.m. We sail away. We sail throughout the night. And the next day on Tuesday, we arrive in the beautiful Nassau Bahamas on the 15th of February. So, yes, if you guys notice, we will be spending valentine's on board so this is a great opportunity also for you guys to promote this cruise to couples that want to do something special for valentine's next year we know that this year things were still put on hold and so i think there's a great opportunity for people to start planning and getting their bookings ready and in for um next year so it's a great opportunity to push um their their first trip of the year next year and celebrate valentine's okay 15th, we're in Nassau, Bahamas. We'll spend a wonderful day in Nassau, Bahamas, and then we'll sail away in the evening. And the next day, we will be all day at sea. This will be our first full day at sea, which means we will be um, having an amazing pool party with all of our DJs. We have DJs internationally, as well as our resident local Mexican DJs. Um, so we try and hire a variety of, of DJs that play a variety of music so that we can um, please as many people as possible especially since we have an age range that is, you know, quite wide um, for our crews. Once we've enjoyed a full fun day at sea, we will arrive the next day, Thursday, in Labadee, Haiti. Um, we have been informed by the cruise line that this day on the 17th, we will be the only cruise line that will be in Labadee that day. So we will be able to um, have uh, topless optional areas in Labadee on um, some of the beaches. For those of you who are familiar with Labadee, uh, that's something that our guests I know will love because our temptation concept, we like to make sure that we link it as much as we can with the full experience um, on, on land as well as uh, on board. So that'll be fun in Labadee. And then uh, we'll spend a full day in Labadee. And then the next day on Friday, we will be our last day will be at sea, which will be our goodbye kickoff party uh, at the pool. Um, we also have uh, daytime themes, which we'll look at that a little further into the uh, into the presentation. And then sadly, very sadly, Saturday the 19th, we will return to Miami, Florida, where we will have to kick everybody off board and sadly send them home back to reality. We talked about the premium beverage package. The nice thing about this premium beverage package is that you're looking at um, top brands. You're looking at a wide variety of options, alcoholic as well as non-alcoholic for those guests that maybe do, do not drink. Um, all of that will be included for the cruise and adds a huge value. Um, our restaurants, as we mentioned, we have four restaurants on board that are included. One of them does include an a la carte dining um, for breakfast and for dinner. And then for lunch, it's open during sea days. And then, of course, we have our buffet. For those of you who might be asking in terms of COVID, in terms of protocols, today at this date, um, the cruise line has not yet confirmed what protocols, if any, will take place for next February. Uh, cruise lines are starting to sail this summer, which we're very excited about and we're very happy about that. Um, but our cruise is still 10 months away, so a lot can change in 10 months. Uh, so if you do have clients that are asking, well, what protocols? Am I going to have to wear a mask on board? Am I going to have to be vaccinated? Do I have to show a test? Today, right now, we do not have that specific information. What we can let you know is that if something changes, if something becomes mandatory due to uh, COVID or due to pandemic, and I'm going to use this as an example, if 
by the time February comes around and you know, they say you still must be vaccinated to get on board. Some cruise lines right now are saying you need to be vaccinated to get on board. Others are saying you need to be vaccinated or you need to show me a, a, a negative test or you need to show me proof that um, you've had it and you have antibodies and you're still within 180 days. So cruise lines are offering different options right now. What I can say is that by the time our February 2022 cruise comes along, if they say that vaccines are mandatory and a client is against being vaccinated. Um, we will work with you and that client to make sure that we um, come up with the best solution for that client and for the company so that everybody walks away happy. OK, I want you to know that um, uh, as of right now, um, we've had sadly, we've had the experience of, of, of a past cruise being canceled because of COVID. So I think we've done a very, very good job of uh, helping our clients transfer their their cabins to our future cruises um, those have has for refunds we've offered them refunds so th that's what we've done in the past for our canceled cruises so um, I don't anticipate us not wanting to or not being willing to work with clients for our future cruises in, in the event that there are certain stipulations put in place um, that clients may not um, uh, personally morally uh, politically religiously be 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 um, uh, or agree with. OK, so I, I'm putting that out there right now because I'm, I'm not sure if there's questions regarding COVID. So um, I thought I'd throw that out uh, right now. Uh, so we're looking at uh, these are all pictures that we're looking at here. They are real 100 percent pictures of our cruise in 2022. This really gives you a good idea of the energy of the atmosphere of our cruise. It also gives you an idea of our entertainment staff. So this is some of our entertainment staff that we brought with us on board. Um, because it's an adult only concept and because it does have a, a, a sexier tone to it than your traditional cruise, all of our staff that we bring on board is highly trained in that concept and making guests feel comfortable, whether it's their first time or whether it's their 50th time in our concepts. OK. Um, here we have a, a few of our theme nights. Uh, again, people always ask me or clients or, or agents always ask me, are the theme nights mandatory? Do guests have to dress up? Do they have or dress down in this case? Um, and no, the answer is no. They do not need to go in theme. They do not need to uh, bring any theme nights. They don't have to bring any costumes. Um, it's 100% um, the client's choice if they want to participate or not. Nobody is going to leave them out at an event or they're not going to be able to, to not participate or go to one of the parties because they're not in theme or they're not in a costume. So I want that to be clear from the beginning. However, with all that being said, Theme nights do add um, an extra element to the cruises. They are a lot of fun, no matter how elaborate or how simple somebody's costume or theme night is. We do encourage all of our guests to participate as much as um, they want to, um, because at the end of the day, it does add an extra an extra level to to the vacation. And, and again, you're uh, surrounding adults, so you can be risque. You can wear something that you probably would never wear in your hometown out to dinner, you can do it here. So this is an opportunity for our guests, our clients to, um, to just be a little bit wild or a little bit free, okay? This was one of our very boring parties, not true. This was one of our uh, theme nights with one of our international DJs. She's originally from Spain and she currently is residing in the US of A. Um, this is my cabin that I was in, I'm just kidding. This is the R-rated Red Room. Um, this is, uh, we spoke about this earlier. This is our um, very special intimate space where our couples can um, enjoy and experience new things. Uh, it's not scary at all. Very romantic, very nice. And uh, I, think, I think everybody needs to take a tour of this place. Our website. Where do we find the information on our website? So our main website is temptation-experience.com, which I know you guys all already know that. When we go on our website, we can see that we have some tabs up at the top, one that says home, our resorts, our cruises, about us, contact us, temptation social, and promos. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on our cruises, and the first one that pops up is the next cruise that's on sale currently for February 2022. In that same tab, you can see that there are uh, our previous crews, which is Temptation 2020, and that you can find some of the pictures, some that you've seen here, and some additional pictures of the entertainment, the shows, the performances, the comedians, 
um, of the experiences that that guests had on our past cruise. Now, uh, you might be saying, hey, there was nothing for 2021. Well, yes, there was. Sadly, due to COVID, it was canceled, but we would have been sailing that um, this last February. So um, this will be officially our second Temptation Caribbean cruise. Once we've clicked on Temptation Caribbean cruise, it's going to show us um, our home page. It's going to give you a little bit of information, a little bit of a rundown of what to expect of the cruise. And then, of course, once you click on the Temptation Caribbean Cruise 2022, you're going to see many different tabs that tell you about the ship, specifications about the rooms, the staterooms, the suites, um, specifics about the ship details. It'll also tell you where you can find our theme nights. Um, so everything, everything you really need to know, you can find on our website. And then we have a really, really good one that says FAQs. This is also a super important. I think all um, affiliates and agents should always take a look at the FAQ section because there's a lot of um, really good and important information that um, everybody should know. So this is our rates and promo section. Up at the top, I'm not sure if you guys can see it or not, but there's a black strip. And on that black strip, it has the different tabs that you can find all of the information on our cruises, which I was just speaking about. Today, we're just gonna take a look at the rates information. Why? Because we are a charter, so we price our cruises a little bit differently than you would a regular traditional sailing if you work directly with the cruise line. So what we're looking at right now are five, uh, five ugh, six columns. <laughs> the first column is the cabin category. Okay, so that's the cabin category of the ship. And again, we're using Celebrity Summit Ship for those of you who are familiar with uh, the cruise ships. So the left side, we're using um, the cabin categories that we've displayed them for our charter. The next column says regular website pricing or website regular price. That is, as we would know it probably in the industry, as the rack pricing, the regular price that that cabin usually would be priced at. However, we currently have a discounted price available. So we're going to always take a look at the column that says website discounted price when we're quoting our clients. That's the price that we're going to look at. We can see that in some cabins, there is a difference between the regular price and a difference between the discounted price. Sometimes if we don't see a difference between the regular price and the discounted price, that's because there are not a lot of cabins left. There's a few cabins left and they have been now pushed up to the regular pricing, supply and demand. Okay. Now, when we're looking at the website discounted pricing, that pricing is based on single and or double occupancy. What does that mean? That means that we do not have a single supplement for our cruises. Why is this? This is because we are a charter. We have financially made an obligation with the cruise line uh, to uh, prepay for a certain amount of guests. So with that being said, we have to, um, our cabins are priced whether there's one person or two people in the cabin. So if I'm going on my own, and I want a veranda stateroom, I'm going to pay $2,632 plus my port fee. If I'm going to take Bertine with me on the cruise, we're going to pay $2,632 for that veranda plus our port fees. Okay. So whether it's one or two people, the price that you see in that column is what they're going to pay plus the port fee. The port fees are not included in this um, pricing that we're seeing in this step. Okay. The next column is a book now and save. This is just to show visually. If somebody was booking today, if I'm going to book the cabin today, I'm saving $483 on that veranda stateroom because the regular price is higher. OK, so that's just a little visual to let clients know what they're saving if they book today. The next column is a very, very important column because it differs than what you guys might be accustomed to on a traditional sailing. That maximum capacity column is what temptation has specified is what the maximum capacity is for these cabin categories. So it's telling me that the veranda stateroom has a maximum capacity of three people, which means that if me and Bertine wanted to invite somebody to join us on the cruise, we would be able to because that cabin allows for up to three people on the cruise in that cabin. Now, if I take a look down, I'm going to see that I just see two people. That means that maximum two people. We cannot put three people or four people in that cabin. For those of you who are familiar with cruises, some cruise lines, some categories will allow in the ocean view or in the interior two, three, four people. For temptation, that's not the case. So we need to stick with the maximum occupancy that we're seeing in this chart, not what the cruise line has. Okay. And then, of course, last but not least is that wonderful button that you're going to select that says book now. Okay. 
when we when we we're going to scroll down a little bit in this um, section of our website because when we scroll down underneath the rates chart we're going to see some very important rate information the first information that says is rates are subject to change and are based on current availability please select your preferred choice above which is the rates chart that we were just looking at and continue to the booking page to confirm the availability and pricing of the cabin very rare the pricing that you see on the page that we just saw and the uh, rate that you see on your final booking screen will vary it is very rare that that will happen okay in the event that that happens the price that's in the final booking screen is the price that will be um uh, validated okay so we put that note there just in terms of people who are uh, asking for price matches or they didn't read below and see that the above price does not include port fees um, that's also why that that disclaimer is there. Now, it also tells you what I just mentioned. The rates are listed above per cabin, quoted in USD for this case, and based on single and or double occupancy. All rates above also include the premium beverage package, which we spoke about. So the rates that we saw up top, that, that brand of cabin that I'm going to go on that costs $26.32, already includes the beverage package. If I go alone, it includes it. If I go with Bertine, it includes it for both of us, okay? Now, it also tells me that there's a deposit to sear the cabin. So it's telling me that currently we have a deposit of 300 USD for staterooms and 700 for you for um, suites. Now, as the time gets closer and as the months start to dwindle and we get closer to our sailing date, our payment schedule that we have starts to change and starts to adjust. Why? Because as the closer we get to the to the cruise, the less payment options and payment schedule dates that we have. So. Um, it's important to take a look at this as well as on the last booking screen you will see that if the deposit plus the first payment is is due because um our payments have already lapsed for example for temptation one payment was due back in february so if i was booking a cruise today i'm going to see that on my final booking when when i'm ready to book i'm going to see that it's 300 for my stateroom plus the first payment that was due back in february okay and then, of course, we have that in very important information. If I want, if me and Bertine want to take Montserrat with us on the cruise, then it tells me here that she's going to have to, or we're going to have to pay 725 USD for that third person in our stateroom plus their port fee. Okay. And here it also lets us know that our port fees are 350 USD for staterooms and $400 for suites. All this information is on the website just below the rates page. Okay. Now, also super important to mention, for those of us who are familiar with cruises and our clients who are familiar with cruises, the prepaid gratuities are also included um, in the final price of the cabin. That's also something that a client is not going to have to worry about paying for on their last day of the cruise, or they're not going to worry about having to see it on their TV screen every day for that prepaid gratuity that the cruise line charges um, automatically to the client. So this is already been taken care of. So yes, when you look at our prices, they do tend to be a little bit higher, but at the end of the day, we're including a lot more in the cabin than you would on a traditional cruise. Okay, I hope that's uh, that's answered some, some questions or if anybody had them, I hope that's answered them. Now, when we click that wonderful book now button because we're ready to take a look specifically at cabins, what we've done is we've tried to make it as easy, as simple as possible. Oh, sorry, let me go back. Sorry guys, I want to I want to I want to go back here, but I'm not seeing the option to to go back. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. No, it's not. There it is. Sorry guys. Sorry guys. I apologize. Um. So, when you click the book now button, it's going to take you to a specific deck. On the right side, what we're seeing here right now is going to tell me all the cabin categories that are available on that deck if i'm specifically looking for the veranda stateroom and i don't see it listed with a little picture and a little description on the right side of the screen that means that there are no veranda staterooms on that deck okay so no need to scratch your heads or call us and be like hey i'm looking for a brand on deck six but i don't see it i don't see it listed it's because it's not listed there okay so um, we've tried to make it as easy as possible as what's available on that deck will be will be listed um, with a description on the right side. Now, there may be an option like the penthouse 
is available on that deck, but it's sold out. That cabin category is sold out. So it will tell you sold out and it won't allow you to book that cabin, okay? Um, we've put a picture of all the, of, of each cabin category here for you. We've also put a little bit of a brief description so that you don't have to go back to the suites and staterooms tab. We've also laid out what the stateroom's size is in terms of the interior and the exterior of the cabin, as well as where these cabins are located. So this is telling me that the penthouses are only available on deck six. If you're looking for a penthouse on deck eight, that's not gonna happen because it doesn't exist, okay? Also something that I really enjoy is right underneath the picture, We've also added the floor plan. So if you click that, it's gonna show you the floor plan and the layout of that specific cabin. So guests can see, and as well you, where the bed is, where the um, living room is, uh, where the uh, sofa bed is, where the bathroom is, where the entrance is. Um, it's a really good feature for guests to really get an idea of what their cabin is gonna look like, okay? And I just wanna make a quick mention, if we're taking a look at the screen and on the top it says cabin price and it gives me a price, Again, that prices before port fees. These prices still do not include your port fee, okay? Now, what we're seeing here is actually what's on the left side of this screen. We've just broken it up to make it bigger so that we can project it easily. But if you're on the website, you're gonna see this screen um, in that blank space on the left side of, of the descriptions that we just saw. So we've basically mapped out the, the ship. So guests can specifically choose, you can specifically choose the cabin for the client. They want specifically 6021, they can click 6021. That's exactly where they wanna be. Clients who have traveled before, who have, who have sailed before, they have, uh, some of them have their favorites, they know where they wanna be and they click there and that's where they wanna be. So this is a super advantage I find because we're not pre-assigning the cabin for them. They're selecting exactly what they want, where they want it, okay? If it has a green check mark, that means it's available. If it has a red X, it means it's booked. Pretty simple, pretty easy. Um, on the on, we're seeing here that we have two little boxes. One that says cabin sixty fifty one available, cabin sixty forty eight booked. This pop up is what's going to show up if I put my mouse over the cabin category. So if I was to put my mouse over sixty fifty one, it's going to show me this little pop up window that says cabin sixty fifty one available category veranda stay room. It's letting me know which cabin category it is. It's reminding me that's a maximum of three people, and it's also reminding me what the price is before port fees. If I was to put my mouse over sixty forty eight, it's going to show up this pop up that says booked, and it's not going to give me the option at the end where it says just click to book because it's already booked. Okay, so. Um, we find it's pretty self-explanatory and pretty easy to navigate. I hope, at least for you guys, it is as well. Now, when I've selected the cabin, this is the next thing I'm going to see, or this is the next thing our clients are going to see. They're going to see a little bit of a rundown of, okay, this is what I'm selecting. So it's going to show me again a little bit of a picture. On the right side, it's going to give me another little bit, a last little bit of a recap just to remind the client what that stateroom or what that suite has, of course, as well as the, as the specifications of the sizing. And then it's going to tell me right at the top that please note, cruise plan protection of 220 USD has been included in your deposit covering expenses related to medical emergencies, accidents, cancellations, fees for two people. Now, when the cabin is selected, it's automatically added the travel protection. The client can always choose to opt out by clicking the quote again without plan protection. OK, so if a client does not want plan protection because they have it on their own, they have it on their credit card or they simply just don't want it. All they have to simply do is click quote again without travel protection. OK, now in the little click here for details, that's um, if they if you click that, it'll give you the um, brief rundown of what that plan protection includes. So to let you know the trip cancellation interruption up to 12,000 USD, it kind of gives you a little bit of a rundown. OK, so I'll leave that. Uh, for you guys to do on your own time just to click on there so you can kind of see what the plan protection includes okay then just below it it gives me the rundown it tells me the cruise that i'm booking it reminds me the cabin category it reminds me the cabin number it tells me how many adults it's currently booked for but there's a maximum of three any cabin category that has a maximum uh, that has a three or four person um, you can select in the drop down menu where it says add one or two where applicable so if i was to select add one person and I clicked 
add, it would recalculate my total to include that 725 that we talked about plus the port fee, okay? It gives me a breakdown of my total. Currently right now, this is including the, um, the insurance. So the 2632, I think it was, plus the 220 um, gives me my 2852 total plus my port fees of 350 per person, 700 for both of us, gives me my final, final total of 3552. Okay, that's the total that me and Bertine would be paying if we were to go together on this cruise, including the plan protection, okay? Then it tells me what the deposit is today. It lets me know that I have a balance due June 14th, and then I have another balance due on September 20th, and then my final payment isn't until November 8th, okay? So currently there's three payments plus the deposit that's due. Um, if there's a promo code that are given to affiliates, then you would pass that promo code onto the clients and they would put that into the enter promo code here box, process the promo code, and then that would recalculate if it was a promo code that included some type of a monetary discount. All righty. Just below that recap that we saw continues the booking screen. So this is where the client would enter all their information. It's important to note up at the top, we should be seeing the option for monthly payments. We've included that as a second option for payments. Clients can choose the three payment dates that were given um, up top, or they can choose to click on this um, box here and it would give them monthly payments and it's automatically calculated from the day that they're booking what their monthly payments would be. So if I was to select monthly payments, I would be paying $252.67 um, for the next nine months and it would be I would be billed every ninth of the month okay so those are the two options that we're giving our clients um, and that's something that uh, should also be given uh, to, to your clients um, there's one little section here that I want to point out at the bottom it says select betting preference this is so that the ship can prepare ahead of time what type of uh, sheets they should be taking for the ship for those guests that want two beds together or that want the beds apart, okay? So it's important to fill that out. Doesn't mean that if closer to the date the client changes their mind, they can definitely let us know, but um, it, is a, it, it is something for the cruise line to know so they can uh, get ready and need and get everything ready that they need for the ship, okay? Once I've submitted the booking, this would be I would get this box. It says, congratulations, thank you. A confirmation email has been sent to whatever email was put in the email box, and this should be the client's email so the client gets a copy of their confirmation. As an affiliate, you will get uh, you will be able to see this in your dashboard. OK, it also lets me know um, my confirmation. Uh, well, this is an inquiry, but if there was a, a confirmation, it, if it was a not an inquiry in a full booking, it would say your confirmation number is um, one, two, three, four or whatever, um, whatever the confirmation number would be. All righty. Uh, in terms of the media, you can always find uh, logos, photos, fact sheets, videos, anything that you would need to complement your website and download um, to, to help promote the cruise on your website. You can find here at media.original-group.com. We have all of our products on there, our cruises, as well as our resorts. But this is a great tool for you to use to complement um, your website or your mailings. Um, it's, it's a really good option. And uh, for me, I believe that's that's that. Um, are there any questions that are still um, not answered? Any comments that you'd like to give me? Shoot, speak now or forever hold your peace. Thank you, Sylvina. Great presentation as always. You're, you're awesome. Um, I think we were able to reply to the questions that um, were asked, but since I saw um, just a few questions asked, uh, if you don't mind, um, for effects of um, the presentation that we're doing, I'll go over them. And if you'd be kind enough um, to just answer them out loud, I'll ask them and I'll await um, your reply, Sylvina. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. Um, the first question is, what cruise line will this cruise be with? And I know we've covered um, these questions. Yeah. Just to refresh. Sure. Yeah. We are using for Temptation 2022, we are using Celebrity Summit uh, for um, our ship. Awesome. Next question. So if you have three persons in the room, is there an additional charge or will the cabin cost be split between um, the three guests? 
Perfect. Great question. Correct. Um, at the rates page, we do have rates for third person in staterooms and third and fourth persons in suites. There are no staterooms that have a capacity for four people, so you will never uh, see a charge for a fourth person in a stateroom. The third person in a stateroom is 725 USD plus their port fee of 350. And then a third and or fourth person in a suite is 800 USD per person plus their port fee of 400 for the suites. Great. Okay, the next question reads, are there quiet areas or can guests hear the music all night? Uh, sorry, Bertine, uh, can you repeat that question for me? Yes, the question is, are there quiet areas or can guests hear the music all night? Yeah, great question. Okay, yes. So the one quiet area is my cabin. That's the quiet zone. There's no noise in there. Other than that, we do have the the solarium, the quiet pool, um, and that has um, that's quiet. You know, you don't have the music of the pool um, and and all the entertainment and the microphone and the MCs and all that. Uh, so we do have the solarium, which is our quiet pool, and then of course on board, there's tons of different locations and bars um, and and little um, nooks and crannies where um, there's quiet area. If we're talking about outdoors, then yes, the quiet area as well as uh, the sun decks. There are sun decks that aren't located right around the pool, and that's also quiet area. Okay, awesome. Where is the cruise calendar? And I'm not quite understanding this question. Where is the cruise cabin? Calendar. The cruise cabin. Okay, um, maybe, let me see if this is the question. Uh, maybe like the, the, the I, not the itinerary, but the program, the schedule of what happens on board. If we're talking about that, um, we don't post the specific um, a program of the cruise, like what's happening on the on the on the Monday, on the Tuesday, on the Wednesday. We don't we don't post that publicly. That's something that guests are given once they're on board in their daily. Um, the theme nights are posted on our website under uh, the entertainment tab. You can see the theme nights with a brief description of what we would recommend guests bring for that theme night if they wanted to participate, as well as the pool party. That's also on there, but all the workshop seminars, um, you know, what time the contest is, what time the parties are, that's um, provided to the guests on board in their daily, as well as um, we have a, we, we do a, a program, a, a recorded program uh, with our entertainment staff on board. And uh, every day we're, we're informing the guests of what's happening that day, one day before. I'm not sure if that was the question, but if it was, that's the answer. If not, please let us know and so we can clarify. If that was not the answer, it was still a great answer, Sylvina. So okay, good. <laughs> um, our next question is, will there be COVID-19 testing on site based on current travel protocol with the CDC? Uh, also, great question. We can't currently answer that question because our cruise does not sail until February. So because our cruise is not sailing uh, until February, the cruise line has not uh, given us any specifications in terms of what uh, we're going to need to have our guests do, um, provide, um, or what is will or will not be mandatory for next February. So currently today, April 2021, we don't have any specifications in terms of what the specific protocols will be on board or pre for our cruise. Okay, thank you. And the next question reads, if I want to DJ or host an event, is that possible? Never say never. I would highly recommend that you send me an email and um, send me an email with your bio, with your resume. Um, if you have any sample clips of your music, of your, of your events, your, your events, uh, we, I would highly recommend sending, uh, sending me the information. We'll get it to the appropriate person. I don't know if Monse or Bertin, you can put my email um, in, the, in that box. And then um, we can definitely take a look. We're always looking to complement our cruises with new, um, new entertainment. So 100%, please send us your information. We'd be more than happy to take a look at um, at, at your work for sure. Thank you. Cool. And yes, I did um, provide your name and your email in the chat. Awesome. box. So cool. do feel free to write Sylvina and she'll be more than glad to take care of you. 
Our next question reads, is there a sell sheet with benefits? And I think this may be a little bit more for me as original affiliates. Um, we do have a commission scale posted um, on our website, which is originalaffiliates.com and under our terms and conditions. If not, you can send me an email as well, and I'll be more than glad to discuss this further um, with you. Okay, I'm going to go through our Q&A um, section now and approach or address those questions, um, Sylvina. Awesome. Okay, again, we have the question, if um, we can use the video that we played for you um, on the presentation, and the answer is yes, please feel free to use all of the content that we do have available in our media page. If you do require anything additional, send us an email and we'll work on um, putting something together. Okay, I'm reading through our questions. And I think, oh, one more question. It reads, are reservations required for the R-rated Red Room and workshops? That's a great question. There's no reservations required for the R-rated Red Room. And in terms of the workshops and seminars, there's no reservations required. It's a first come, first served basis. So um, if, there's a, if there's a workshop scheduled at 12 noon, um, it, it is a first come, first serve. Obviously, uh, the ship the capacity of the ship and the capacity of the actual rooms where the where the um, workshops and seminars take place, it doesn't accommodate the 2,300 guests on board. Um, so that's why it is a first come first serve basis. So it's good to get there early. Tell your clients that. <laughs> Thank you, um, Sylvina. And I think this is our, or that was, excuse me, our last question. Again, um, Savina, you did great. Um, as always, thank you for giving us the time and teaching us about Temptation um, Caribbean Cruises. We do look forward to having you um, during our webinar next Tuesday, which will be um, regarding Desire Cruises. So again, all of you look out um, for that invitation uh, as well. Also, remember that all of our banners and links are available through your affiliate dashboard. If for some reason you're having difficulty accessing your profile, please send me um, an email. My information is what you're seeing um, on the screen. You can also Skype with me at Affiliates um, OR, and I'll be more than glad um, to assist you as well as Monse, who just joined um our our team um we're going to try to give you all speedy um responses the best way to reach out um to me is um via email um we're getting reinstated at the office i'm currently um there um every other day from like 9 um to 2 p.m. so again if you can send me um an email i'll be more than glad to schedule a phone call with you and assist you in anything um, that you may require. And I think that is all for um, today. Again, thank you all of you for joining us um, and taking again time out of your day to learn about our concept and our cruise and obviously the booking process of our website because as an affiliate, that is one of the main tools that um, you will be using to convert those clients into reservations. So look out for our Desire Cruises invitation. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Sylvina and Monse. And have a great day to everybody. Thank you.